Um, welcome to another video. This one is going to be about um, the fails and the setbacks I had. Sometimes about things I didn't know, sometimes about um, on my own stupidity. Let me start. First of all, I used um, quite a lot of these devices. This is the charger for the lithium batteries. And here is one still inside. Um, I used four, uh, mainly because I changed something on the circuit and didn't disconnect the battery. And then I came in contact with something and a little um, uh, cloud of smoke popped up. Uh, on this one, this was something special. I put this aside uh, because you see the plug here. And I had uh, a charger for 12 volts. And you may notice that I have this plug here and this plug here are exactly the same. The problem is one is 12 volts, one is uh, 5 volts. And I uh, uh, installed them several time apart and I didn't think about that these are completely equal and uh, at one point I plugged in accidentally the 12 volts here and then a cloud of smoke came out of this because I had on my Raspberry a 12 volts input for the uh, Navtex and here is the 5 volts input for the charging for charging the batteries and if I um, turned them around mm, everything broke so this was um, I noticed when it's what late when it was too late okay uh, then we have the next thing I thought that um, the Navtex w uh, would be running pr uh, without any problems uh, uh, which it wasn't so, I had to install in here a uh, DC DC converter from uh, 5 to 12 volts so it uh, had enough power and here I had to install a switch so I could switch directly from the input to the uh, to the to the connector here so uh, because this one used too much power and my uh, battery bank was draining empty. The next thing, um, never uh, play with a Raspberry while the power is connected. On this one, I accidentally uh, uh, short circuit the 5 volts with the 3.3 volts and um, uh, damaged the CPU. It's getting only hot and the memory card. Uh, burned up in smoke. So this one I used the connector. It's a spare part now. The next... Um, if you play with an Arduino, um, make sure that you don't accidentally connect the 12 volts to the 5 volts um, after the regulator. So this one is only a heating plate right now. and. If you have a display installed, the display will break as well. So these two are nah, damaged. Um, I had this one I need later. I had also some interesting uh, fails, which were not my fault, I think. For example, this one. This is a TDL to RS232 converter, which broke without any apparent reason one day it worked, the other day it stopped working. So hmm. maybe no, no good quality. The same with this one. Um, it broke. Uh, no, it broke. It, it didn't break. Uh, it, it works, but the display doesn't work anymore. And what I did was just unplug the power and replug it, and suddenly it shows only 888. So oh, I don't know. The next thing is this one. This is the gyroscope or the gyroscope. I don't know how it's pronounced. And I had only problems 
with uh, Arduino and this one because uh, it suddenly stops uh, sending data and I searched the whole internet. I found so many people having the same problem and I just uh, gave up uh, using it. It's a tilt sensor. It was because I had it laying around so I wanted to install it. Um, I removed it and installed in the a new Raspberry host the BME 280 and uh, so I don't need it anymore. The next thing uh, I had only trouble with these DC DC converters they uh, bring too much um, disturbance into the system and uh, they are for this application not very good. The next thing um, if you you if you um, use these chargers and other chargers and play around with uh, lithium polymer uh, batteries, uh, make sure that you buy the cheapest batteries you can find. For example, from um, the damaged laptops f uh, of eBay for five euros, and take the batteries apart because um, this back is broken. These are broken, these are broken, and these are broken. They have all uh, um, a very high uh, resistance now, and um, nothing comes out anymore. Um, mainly, I think, due to um, overcharge and or um, too much discharge. Um, on the battery packs I use now, I have beside the power boost 1000 C a separate protecting circuit on each cell or on um, a pack of two cells so the, uh, the separate cells don't get overcharged or discharged too much so but these are all in the, the category of fail um, the next thing uh, Arduino if you switch from um, uh, Arduino Micro to uh, Arduino Nano, which they have different uh, microcontrollers, um, make sure to read the uh, the manual because the Arduino Micro has an uh, external interrupt on the pin 7, 2 and 3 and the Arduino Nano with uh, a 328p processor or microcontroller has only pin uh, 2 and 3 as interrupt. So if you wonder that your nav text doesn't work anymore or you get out of sync really quick, um, make sure that you uh, change the pin from 7 to 2 uh, or 3 and recompile it because you can compile the, uh, the sketch using this board with the interrupt pin 7 without any complaints of the compiler. So um, this was a fail I uh, was looking quite some time. The next thing, uh, my AIS antenna, you should make sure that you, if you tune the antenna, that you don't, don't tune it to uh, 162 kilo, kilohertz. Uh, instead of 162 megahertz, uh, this was um, I, I tried this and wondered why everything was so strange. And I think about 20 minutes later, I noticed that I forgot three zeros at the end of my impedance analyzer. So uh, I, I tried to tune the antenna to 162 kilohertz, which was also um, a bit embarrassing, I think. Okay, I think uh, that's it. Um, for the fails, for the big ones at least, and thank you for watching, goodbye.